Hi guys, I'm Sean. Alyssa's out of town. Gus is in our hearts. And this is Internet Rabbit Hole Daily. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Did you know that uh, India has embarked on another space mission? That's right. I keep seeing this in like uh, my recommends here, which is uh, that India uh, has blasted off into space and maybe even landed on the moon. I'm not so sure, but I'm about to find out. Let's check it out together. Hello, I'm Lucy Gray. Welcome to the program. We start with a historic mission to the moon and the launch of India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. This is the moment that it took off just under an hour ago. It wow. entered Earth's orbit shortly after. It's India's second attempt at a lunar landing, and if it's successful, the craft will deploy a rover near the moon's south pole next month, and India will become only the fourth country behind the US, the former Soviet Union, and China to manage a controlled lunar landing. And you know what, folks? I bet you they did it for a fraction of the cost as well, too. That was one of the things that I was so impressed about the last time I, I saw some information on the uh, Indian space program, ISRO, I guess, uh, as they refer to it as, it was able to do a space mission for the same price that it took, uh, you know, Americans to make a space movie. Um, so I think the movie Gravity in particular. Um, so I was so impressed with that. Um, anyways, a little bit of a side tangent there. Ending. A little earlier, I spoke to astronomer and podcast host Jennifer Millard, who talked us through the launch of the rocket and explained how long it would take before it reaches the moon. Once it's there, it'll orbit the moon a few times before attempting to deploy the lander and then the rover, which is contained within the lander. So, yeah, we've got a little bit to wait. We're expecting it to get to the moon 23rd, 24th of August. That's the rough ah. timeline. And then, yeah, hopefully India will become only the fourth nation to have a successful soft landing on the surface of the moon, which is absolutely incredible if you think about How it. It's only the US, Russia and China that have achieved this. And yeah, India are going for it. You know, they haven't done too much in terms of space exploration. So this is a really ambitious mission, but that's what they tend to do. You know, they were the first Asian nation to reach Mars as well. Yeah, they've got yep. that was the one. That was the mission I was talking about. That's been operating for over three years very successfully as part the Chandrayaan 2. Yep. So yeah, we expect great things from India Damn. and space in the future. Yeah, no kidding. So it was actually the Chandrayaan program that discovered water at the South Pole of the Moon and concretely discovered water on the Moon. That was the first time that had ever been done. That was back in 2008. And then, of course, they're really making amazing progress, spending very little money on these projects. You know, when we look at NASA's, yeah. they, the yeah, budgets no run into hundreds of millions, billions of dollars, whereas the Chandrayaan ones are doing it for $75 million, something like that. We spend more on making movies. Ah, she said the <laughs> same thing I did. Going to explore how how the are they moon. able to do that so much uh, more cheaply? So again, it's doing things like taking their time, so using the least amount of fuel possible, ah. that cuts down on the budget, ah. using smaller craft, so this rover, you know, is not the sort of size of a car that you would expect with the Martian rovers. This one is on its biggest dimension, it's about a metre long. Oh. And so then that reduces the cost as well, you know, lower mass as well is, is always cheaper. And it's very, very specific targets, you know, we only expect this rover to be working for one lunar day, that's one of the things with the timing of this mission as well is to get there for the start of a lunar day so we've got that full two weeks to make the most of all of that solar power to charge the batteries uh, and so it means that india can do these extraordinary missions and extraordinary science on on a very very low budget and does show that you don't need to spend all of this money necessarily to Maybe some of the other uh, space agencies should be taking note here uh do amazing exploration in space Jennifer Millard there. Well, let's speak now to Prasad Samramayanian, who is a professor of Indian uh, at Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. I'm assuming that you watched the launch um, and are following its progress. Uh, what can you tell us? What's your assessment of how things mm, are going? He's happy. Things are going very well. Um, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, but but uh, I, I believe we've, we've passed the most crucial uh, stage of, of the launch. 
And uh, so, so as of now, yeah, yeah, things uh, couldn't be going better. Mm -hmm. So just to explain what's happened, there was blast off and then the boosters separated uh, from the rocket, didn't they? Those boosters have now fallen into the ocean. What and I understand force? it has now entered Earth's orbit. And then just if you could just explain what's happening, because it's going to orbit the Earth several oh, times, isn't it? Before it does this sort of slingshot out. movement yeah. uh, yes. and, yeah. and tries to get into the, to the lunar orbit. That's right, exactly. It's, it's, it's a matter of uh, entering, uh, entering the moon's gravitational, primarily the moon's gravitational pull, and, and it's a complex maneuver. And uh, so, uh, uh, to be clear, the rover per se is going to land on the moon only in about two weeks or something like that from yeah, now. 23rd or 24th of August, they've said. Coming yeah. soon. Yes, yes, something like that. So uh, in between now and then, it's, it's a lot of uh, fairly complicated orbital dynamics that's going to happen. Basically uh, trying to build up speed, though, I it's understand. It's got to be so yes, precise. Yes, yes. The, the, the slingshot's a very good analogy. Um, uh, you, you, you need to get, get, get your stone right in, 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 in the right trajectory. So that, that, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, and then easily just, put, but, uh, the easy part. Well, the the really difficult part apparently is landing on the moon. And mm -hmm. I know that India tried it once before, and it didn't go so well. Oh, so, okay, I um, hadn't heard that. Talk us through why this is so tricky. What what it involves? Oh, uh, to the extent I understand, um, it's it's a matter of uh, it's it's think think of uh, of of uh, trying to land on your feet uh, while while jumping the top of uh, of uh, of a building yeah people have uh, no you, idea you sure how complex it is uh, i wouldn't recommend this to anybody yeah. but but if you were trying to do that uh, you need to make sure your feet don't buckle and then there's a lot of rebound and you're not very sure about the composition of the soil where you're landing so all these things so um so that's why um, you get one chance it, it's 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 a combination of mechanics um, and 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 uh, uh, mostly mechanics. So and, just uh, this sorry. sorry, I was just going to ask if you could explain what the mission is. As I said, the, the aim is to land on the South Pole, and we don't yes. know a huge amount, do we, about mm. the actual South Pole? Relatively undiscovered. That's, right. That's precisely or, where, or, yeah. why we're trying to go there. And uh, uh, the mission, the the scientific objectives are manifold. Um, Broadly put, uh, lunar geochemistry and 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 of course uh, presence of water ice, uh, w w which is the holy grail, and uh, understanding um, how the lunar surface came to be um, uh, what it is now, understanding um, the impact of, of the solar wind was something that I'm personally interested in, uh, how the solar wind particles impact the impact the uh, moon's atmosphere, the lack of it, the scale. And, uh, wow. and, and how they influence the geochemistry of, of the lunar surface. Uh, yeah. This is about as much as, 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 as I broadly understand, yeah. Yeah, well, so far so good. So we will see, I suppose, won't we, in the, in the coming weeks. Thank you very much uh, for talking to us, uh, Prasad Sadramamian, who is a professor at the Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. Thank you. Jays. Well, congratulations, India. Uh, that is a tremendous achievement. Just uh, even, even having a, uh, a rocket launch into the atmosphere and, uh, you know, uh, move around the Earth in that way to slingshot off. It's like the math involved, the amount. Um, Amount of effort involved. Uh, it's, like I said, a tremendous achievement. And I've heard people say uh, before that, uh, you know, it's just so impossible to land an object or a vehicle on the moon. It's like, uh, you know, uh, what would they, what was the analogy? It was... Uh, it was like a sewing one. It was like to thread a needle from, but like from thousands of kilometers away sort of thing. It, it's just you, the precision. And the fact that they're doing this on, on like a shoestring budget, um, doing it for much less than any of the other countries uh, that have been mentioned there. And uh, I thought it was really interesting the way that they're saving uh, money on fuel by having it take a while. Because I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought it, I didn't, I wouldn't expect it to take so long to get to the moon. Um, what do I I know, uh, <laughs> but uh, it seems like that was, you know, it's taking extra long on purpose because uh, it's going to take less fuel, it's going to cost less, and it's still going to get there. Uh, at least that's what we hope anyways, um, and I think that's what we're going to be uh, eagerly anticipating here over the next few days is news that it has indeed, uh, you know, reached the moon, that the lander has landed, and hopefully we get all sorts of useful information out of that. Can you imagine if uh, they discover water? 
or something like that. How huge would that be? Um, so uh, congratulations, India. Congratulations, Israel. I will be, uh, you know, waiting here at the edge of my seat to see what happens next. I'm sure it's going to be 100% successful. Um, and... Uh, if you folks want to uh, keep on uh, keeping on with IRH Daily, well, then we're going to ask you to click that subscribe button, click the thumbs up, leave comments down below. Uh, you know, uh, you know, are there any other uh, videos related to this moon mission that we should be checking out? You can let us know that as well, too. And we love you a whole lot. This is Airnet Rabbit Hole Daily IRH signing off. Bye bye, guys.